choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. In far off times, attempts have been made to copy its sculpture. How the mystery of an untethered world. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> so my name's Alexa. Um, I work here at Gateshead College. I'm the wellbeing and welfare advisor, essentially working within the mental health department um, and doing everything that we can uh, to assist the learners whilst they're here at college. Yeah, just straight. Do you have any mm -hmm. conspiracy theories that you believe in or are interested in? Um, so I do find conspiracy theories interesting in general. I do have a degree in psychology and a master's degree in occupational psychology. So um, anything that is about human behaviour I find really interesting. Um, but I think I don't personally believe in many theories that strongly. Um, one that I do find interesting that I don't believe in but I think has become more exacerbated as time has gone on in recent years because of COVID-19 has been the whole vaccine fear. Yeah. Um, that's a massive one at the moment, but I think it's more typical in America, I think, because mm -hmm. obviously they can choose whether or not to have vaccines and things are getting a bit out of hand. And a lot of people over there truly believe that they cause more harm and the government are trying to control people with them, which in reality, that's not what the science proves and that's not what the facts state, you know, um, as now more and more people are choosing not to have the vaccines for their children, more and more cases of really serious diseases are coming back, which were eradicated due to vaccinations. So things like that prove just straight from the get go that Obviously the theory is flawed, this conspiracy theory, but it proves how, how dangerous it can be as well. How do you think conspiracy theories like sort of start out, sprout from, and then um, do you think like people just make them up or do you think it's like the deeper connotations and stuff like that? I think it's really hard to know like where they all start from. I think I've looked into some research around this kind of thing before and truly I think it, it, it's all rooted in human behaviour. You know, it's hardly about the actual theory itself, more or less. Um, it can be more so about what people wanting to belong to something they feel is maybe different or maybe something that explains a theory that they don't understand already. Or when people feel like, um, you know, something terrible has happened, they want a more simple explanation for it than what they've been given. Um, and they can find like more power in that because they feel that they understand something more like on a deeper level. You know, you have, um, you know, the ones about the government and things. Mm -hmm. I think people who feel maybe a bit out of control in their own lives like to think, oh, well, at least I'm smart enough to know the truth behind this. And it gives them a sense of like autonomy back over their life again. Um, and sometimes it can be harmless, I think, you know, on small levels, like smaller scales, of course. Um, but like you say, when you get into the bigger ones, like the, the more deep run conspiracy theories that people can sometimes completely obsess over and it might take over their entire life. And in that case, it's something that is obviously causing more damage than it is good. Yeah. yeah, it might be starting off, you know, as something that people use to explain away something they don't understand. Um, it might give them a sense of belonging at the time, you know, or oh, this group of people also believe that this is how the government is, there go, I feel better. Mm -hmm. However, it can spiral and then it becomes more about the fear than anything else. Um, and then it can incite all sorts of bad behaviour after that, you know, causing people to turn on each other or, you know, causing... Um, well, like with the vaccines as well, you know, causing people to stop taking important medication that they need and it can just spiral. Last one, do you think there's any psychological reason why the um, reason behind people believe in conspiracies, especially more like the mad ones, like yeah. the earth being flat, for example, or yeah. the pyramids being built by aliens? Yeah, things, things like that. that. I think it's definitely rooted in a little bit of misunderstanding. The research does tend to show it is people with lower critical thinking skills who tend to truly believe in things like this. Sometimes people might just gravitate towards it because I think it's fun. 
mm. and you know oh well that's like a fun fun theory to think about um, and it might just that's as far as it goes for some people for others it's when it roots deeper than that and they feel as if truly they've been deceived by the world or by the government um, and they're trying to pull the wool over their eyes but they can see the truth and you know and then it becomes us versus them kind of mentality doesn't it I think it is all about human behavior and I think it can often be the more vulnerable people in the world who fall into these sort of groups or ideologies or you know it can be quite dangerous um, it can turn into like extremist behavior as well it can all have quite serious effects but um, no I think I think it is really interesting and I think it's just about the person individually it's more so about they, them themselves and what they might be struggling with and then an outlet for it might be a conspiracy theory. Yeah. Are there any negative effects of believing conspiracy theories? I think that could be definitely just a whole documentary in itself, couldn't it? I mean, honestly, the the lengths some people go to to try and like push their beliefs onto people. Um, and like you say, it can be, say it's related to politics and people believe that the government, you know, are this, that, the other then that can lead to people not voting, it can lead to people um, trying to like rise up against you know the, the authority and sometimes obviously in history that's shown to sometimes be effective but when we live in this modern day in a first world country where things are quite civilised, having people rise up against the authority figure could cause more harm than good, people not voting for the people they believe in, they feel you know in politics that can be something that is totally your choice, but then if more and more people don't vote, then we get a worse leadership in power. So yeah, that's it's dangerous in politics, it's then dangerous in, uh, in terms of actual extremism, because you have people who will always take it too far, you'll have people who truly try to segregate groups from each other, uh, people start acting dangerously towards each other, um, Obviously, if you begin to believe that you are a special group and that others are outsiders and that belief starts to be spread across, then it'll just go step to step in how quickly that could become quite dangerous. And we've seen in the news how often that can be quite dangerous. And I think social media doesn't help with the capitalization of the whole thing. Um, obviously, in the past, it might just be oh, in the newspaper or on the telly on the news night, you might see something reported, uh, but it'd be quite rare and it would be more sort of underground conspiracy theories. Whereas I think in the modern day, you'll get a new one every other day on the internet um, and people could really go down a rabbit hole. And I think it could be really damaging to people's mental health, especially the ones who are already more vulnerable, being more susceptible to believe in them anyway. I think it's a bigger problem. Than, the, than individual to individual. I think it starts from the top and needs to be sorted out from the top down. Um, and in a small way, I think if social media was more um, strictly sort of viewed and, and like unorganized, then it might not be as bad as well because you could always have, because uh, you always have clickbait these days, don't you? You have people writing anything they can to get views or clicks and it can be really extreme and then that can end up really badly influencing some vulnerable people.